All right, what's up all my plant lovers? Devin is here. It's still morning time. I haven't showered. I haven't finished my coffee. But what I have started to do is to take the plants out of my house plant office jungle. Why? Because we're about to do a total makeover of this room. Um, and I said to myself, if I don't record this now, even though I haven't brushed my teeth or washed my face yet, I will never forgive myself. So here we are. I wanted to just show you guys what we got going on right now and give you kind of a little idea of some of the things that we're planning on doing um, in this room to make it even more, even more jungleicious, all right? So first thing you can see, this ugly color of painting. Getting rid of that, that's step number one. Now step number two, we have kind of a fun idea for this wall over here. So we'll see if we're able to achieve our goals. But I wanna just create a much more harmonious look with plant life climbing all up and down that wall back there to just fill that void. So the first step in doing this is, of course, taking all of the plants out of this room. This is gonna be a little bit of a big project. So they're gonna be in a darker room with no lights on timers for probably up to two weeks, which is a little bit kind of uh, nerve wracking, but there's no choice. They should be fine. They get awesome nutrients and sunlight all the time. So two weeks without optimal conditions should be okay. Um, I'm also gonna be repotting a bunch of stuff, things that have outgrown their containers, like this Refidif uh, what is this? Refidifora discursiva. You can see it's just totally growing up and up. It wants something more to climb up. Um, so we're gonna be doing a total refresh. And in the meantime, I'm gonna be just putting them in this little holding area back here. Hopefully this should be good. I'm putting the tarp down so that I can water with ease and protect the wood floors. So first step, removing all the plants. Next step, choosing the paint, figuring out how to get the plants to climb up that wall and then replacing, redoing the lighting system. Um, redoing, what else are we redoing? That's probably about it. I wanna find an, an even better solution to lighting because as well as the cords are all hidden, um, I don't, I'm not a huge fan. There's still a lot of hanging wires and stuff. I wanna to try to eliminate that as much as possible. So stay tuned, I'm gonna do my best to document this as we uh, undergo this process. So I'll see you guys here in a minute. Oh, oh, the plant room is empty. It's all ready, we're ready to paint it. If you guys have been um, joining me on my Instagram page, you would have noted that we've been painting pretty much over the last eight months, every single room in our house. And this is the last room, of course, because it's the most complex. I had the most stuff. And I'll show you all of the plants that I'm holding in my holding room. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow we're gonna start painting and then we're going to start to figure out how to create a beautiful kind of trellised effect over this entire wall or as much of the wall as we possibly can. So all of our climbing plants can climb. And um, all right, let's, you wanna see all the plants in their new temporary home? All right. Gosh, when you have them all clustered out like this, it just looks pretty incredible. Uh, but what is so fun when you get to, see, when you move them all and clean up everything, you get a whole new perspective and you can see all the plants um, in for different angles. Like I haven't seen this burl marks in a while like this. Um, check out that anthurium, how it's just been by that window. And so it's just kind of all grown into one direction and it looks phenomenal. Um, my Anthurium pedatoria didum, three full leaves, has a beautiful flower, looking good. This guy, my Pilea peperomioides, has like three kind of different sections growing to it. And my uh, banana with the spider plant, it's just totally just like one big mass now. I love it. So what I'm gonna be doing is all of my different climbers, like my Raphidophora tetrasperma. Here you can see, this is my Monstera peru, Carstenianum. Um, quite possibly even my big Monstera deliciosa. Uh, 
We're gonna be building the wall trellis function so that all the plants can gently climb up and I can easily just kind of create a, a more cohesive look. I love to see plants climbing up walls, but I don't like when they're just kind of really disorganized. So we're gonna to try to make it as organized as we possibly can. Um, Samantha has instilled that uh, kind of clean line energy into my outlook. So I'm really excited for what it will turn out to be. I hope it works, I hope it looks good. Uh, but if you guys did see, check this guy out. This is the uh, side note, but this is my um, little plant cart. I built this from scratch. So we had one of our walls removed and they removed all of these studs. And so I used those studs to create this cool plant cart and it's on wheels and I have this fluorescent light underneath it. Um, it's really looking pretty good. So I have some nice kind of like precious plants down here. You can see. Um, and so lots of beautiful plants and then it just kind of fills out this window space pretty nice. You know, I took all the measurements um, so that it would be at the right height of just at the window, not obstructing the view because um, that's super important. And with those wheels, I can bring it wherever I want. All right, so tomorrow we'll be painting. Um, I got some wood, so hopefully we'll start the trellis thing tomorrow, if not over the next couple of days. So stay tuned. Dun, da, da, da. We got it all painted. I guess we're still gonna do a, um, a nice little trim up here of a green color. So there's a little bit more painting to do. And then the next step is to actually put up, um, to find the studs in the wall over here. And then we're going to be putting basically two inch tall like wood planks across this wall and that is going to be functioning as um, you know a, a trellis so to speak for the house plants to climb up rather than just kind of doing willy-nilly into the wall wherever it may grow it's going to give us a little bit more structure um, it's going to be a little bit more organized nice and clean look um, so let me show you the drawing that i just made to basically get the plan for how much wood we need to purchase and where to actually put it. So here you can see the drawing of that room. There's that door opening, that window thing. So I'm going to space them about 12, I'll space them 12 inches apart going up the wall all the way up the wall. Um, this drawing is to scale. It took me about, I don't know, 30 minutes to do with my trusty ruler and calculator. And so that basically in total I need like 176 feet of wood, so it's gonna be kind of expensive. Um, but I think it's gonna be really cool, really, really pretty. You know, with these types of projects, we've done so many projects like this in the house, the biggest, most important thing that you need to always take consider, consider of is the preparations, making drawings that are to scale, um, you know, so you can accurately tell how much wood you need, things like that cannot be stressed enough. You got to do it. It's hard to do. It takes a while, but once you've done it once or twice, you start to get the hang of it and um, you can just do it more easily, more readily. So if you are thinking about doing a project like this, you know, take the time to make all the preparations from the beginning. It will save you a lot of stress, a lot of anger, especially with, if you're doing it with a partner. Um, you guys won't get mad at each other as often if you have proper planning in place. All right, so we got all of our pieces of wood from Home Depot. They're super thin, so they should be easy enough to adhere to the wall, we're hoping. Um, but this stuff is super rough. So I've been out here sanding. You gotta sand pretty much all sides. We're using like 150, what is, how, do they, how do they call it? 150, 150 grit. Um, seems to be pretty good for this for these slats. And um, we bought a total of 33 of them times six, that's was 33 times six, 198 feet of the wood. Um, so after we're done sanding, Samantha is over here in her bathing suit. She's staining. So we're doing a pre-stain conditioner followed by a wood stain. So hopefully that will achieve the right nice color that we're looking for for our trellis. 
All right, so we're getting the first section going. It kind of, once we started to put it on, it reminded me of like a color scheme of the Cotswolds, cottages in, uh, in England, All right? Oh, oh my gosh, I think that we're finally ready to start moving the plants back in here. This has been an arduous effort, but I think we just got through the last step. So what did we do? All right, so uh, we got, like I showed you guys, we got the wood up on the wall. And then the last step was to put um, wire across the, across the wood. And um, I was using, I used fishing line and my fingers, it's like, I can't make those knots very well. It was really, really hard and frustrating. So here you can see the fishing wire. I'm moving it around right now. And we just basically put some tiny little screws in at the end so that they would only kind of uh, enter into these little wood planks and not into the wall, so no more holes in the wall. Um, not that that really matters at this point. And then we just did it all the way across, kind of like every like 10 feet or so. Oh, say hi to Samantha. And you can see we just attached them. Uh, when she started to help me put the fishing line up, it went way faster. So now these are ready to put the climbing plants up. Oh, and look, I got my first plant in the room, the fiddle leaf fig. The plant wall has started. I got this Raphidophora tetrasperma up in the wall. Let me show you guys how we did it. So I have another one over there. I'm gonna show you that. The idea is for it to climb up, of course. Now, there's a little special trick that you need to ensure if you're gonna be using something like fishing line because it is so thin. So, of course, you want to pick a spot that you really like. That's, you know, what we're kind of battling with right now is thinking about the functionality of this. And for now, it's what we're going with, so we'll decide later on. But when you're using this kind of nylon, what we're doing is we're putting some tape around the spot where the nylon um, hits that the plant, because this guy can be sharp and cut into the plant. So this is going to kind of uh, create more surface area and protect the plant's stems. Um, it's totally a mess in here, but so we have this guy and then hopefully the idea climb over and meet with this guy over here. So that's where we're at right now. We're gonna keep filling it out. All right guys, so we got four plants on the wall. We got two of the mini monsteras. They were fit for a tetrasperma. Um, a Raphidophora discursive, I'll show you in a second, and a Peru Monstera. Um, so the plant wall is now officially in business. And um, let me show you the other two plants. Here you can see the dragon's tail, Raphidophora discursiva, and the Peru Monstera, Monstera carstenianum. Um, and yeah. All right, let's take a look. It's looking pretty good. Now, I don't have all of my plants in here. There's definitely a lot of plants that are outside. So this is as full as it's gonna be for now until the weather starts to turn down. Um, but it's looking really nice. I'm still a little bit cord heavy. Still working on figuring out how to get those down. But the climbing wall is in action and it's looking good. So I'm gonna do a second video once I've filled out all of my counter space, all of my uh, cabinetry and shelving and give um, some different ideas and tips on lighting, how I structured the design of the room and all that kind of stuff. But for now, this is the end of this video showing you guys the transformation of my space, of my plant jungle um, to include this brand new living plant wall. It was a lot of work, took about two weeks. I could not have done it without the help of my wife. She was here with me from step one until the very finished getting the plants up and down into this uh, fishing line. It was a long process, but filled with love. We're giving our plants lots of love and they're gonna love us right back. So if you have any further questions, further comments, definitely leave a note below and I will absolutely answer it. Check out my Instagram page, plant.vibrations. On there I have pretty much daily content, stories and posts and reels and all that kind of stuff. So check that out if you're looking for some more plant vibes. Uh, but for now, I've got some lentils on the stove and I'm ready to eat because I'm hungry and we've been working all day. All right guys, I'll catch you soon. Ciao. Oh wait, and one last note. Our website is up and running.
plantvibrations.net. If you're ever interested in a plant consultation, either present here in eastern Pennsylvania, um, kind of Delaware area, I do home visits. I also do online consultations. So go plant, plantvibrations.net and you'll find everything you need to know.